Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the data visualization basics in R tutorial series. So today we'll be starting with the ggplot2 package. So here gg means gra grammar of graphics and this package allows you to create high quality graphs and plots. So we'll be looking at one function at a time. So for today's video, we'll be looking at the geom underscore area function. As the name implies, it helps you create area plots. By area here, we don't necessarily mean that we can plot only area. You will see that in a bit. So let's get to the code. As always, install the package and call it. Here for this particular tutorial, we'll be taking the CO2 dataset as an example. So this is an inbuilt dataset. And here you can see what are the columns it contains. So for now, we'll be just taking the uptake column. So the first step here is to create a sample plot. For that, we can use the ggplot function. Here, you need to include the input. So in our case, that's the uptake. So let's first create the plot. So here, the plot, even though we created, it don't have anything in particular. So how ggplot works is that we need to add whether it's a point or it's a line or whatever. We need to add it separately. So for example, here we use the geom underscore area, but if it's a histogram, we might use geom underscore histogram, or if it's a bar plot, we use geom underscore bar like that. So all those things we'll be checking in the upcoming videos for now, just let's try to create the area plot. So we first create the sample plot and we inserted the data set and we also gave the input variable. Now, what we need to do is that we need to use the geom area function to create a separate area plot on this data. So this looks something like this. So as we looked in the previous videos, we can have the bins according to our data set. I think the default is 30 here. I just gave 20. I know this plot now looks not that great at the moment. Maybe we can add like a outline. So here the color actually just add an outline so there is a small red outline here we can also in a similar way change how the outline is so now it's solid but we can change the line type to something like maybe let's say dotted so now it's changed to dotted let's change the fill color as well so that it's easy to notice so yeah now you can see the outline right so it's a dotted red color we can change this to dashed or dot dash or we can re even remove it by just having it blank here so it will remove the outline so well that's all for now i just wanted to give you guys an intro to the geom.area function we will be checking various other options within this function in depth in the coming videos okay then i'll see you guys in the next video ciao